So custom GPTs are now obsolete in my opinion. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how I would create a chat GPT project from scratch that actually moves the needle and gets your desired outputs. So be sure to stick around for the full tutorial. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and I help founders and executives leverage AI to scale content, save time and build a strong personal brand online. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools, prompts and even automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So in terms of access, anyone now has the ability to create a chat GPT project, whether you're a paid user or even a free user. But there are some differences to talk about first. If you're a free user, you do not get access to OpenAI's most advanced models within a project, whether it's these different variations of GPT-5 thinking, legacy models, etc. And in terms of limits, if you're a free user of chat GPT, you only get five files per project. That it is a big deal in my opinion, and not to mention usage. You will run out of usage very quickly on a free plan of ChatGPT versus being a paid user. So in order to use projects effectively, I do recommend at least being subscribed to ChatGPT+. And if you're wondering why I said custom GPTs are now obsolete at the beginning, I thought that was a good hook and I hope you're still watching at this point, but I do have a video that covers the difference between custom GPTs and chat GPT projects. And long story short here, at this point in time, obviously things could update very quickly. The only benefit of using a custom GPT is the ability to share it publicly. That is one of the biggest downsides of projects right now is if you're not on a chat GPT Teams plan or enterprise plan, there is no way for me to create a public URL with a chat GPT project that I can share across the internet where you can do that with a GPT. But however, why projects are superior, I recommend watching that video, but just a quick rundown here is A, you get access to these advanced features within ChatGPT, deep research, agent mode, et cetera. And also think about chat organization. Notice how organized these chats are also by date versus a GPT, there is no organization of chats. You have to go through the sidebar, maybe search chats in your history. It's just really annoying and something I get really frustrated with. Also in projects, you get what's called project only memory. And I'm going to explain that here in a little bit when I take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a chat GPT project. But I would recommend watching that comparison video in the description below. So now I'm gonna show you how to create a chat GPT project step-by-step. -step. But there are a few things that you should consider first. Number one, what is the objective of this project? If you're a service-based business and you deal with multiple clients, I'd recommend having a project dedicated for each client. That's what I do as I run a marketing agency. What I'm going to show you in this example is creating a project that mimics my personal brand. And if you're a business, I would recommend creating a project that mimics your company's brand. As you'll see, I have a, a project right here and I use this almost every day for things like creating content, for ideation, for generating scripts, for drafting email pitches, for podcasts, speaking opportunities, pr presentation outlines, really anything tied with my personal brand. The other thing I would recommend that you do before you actually go ahead and start creating a project is getting a bunch of relevant files together that we can then upload, or you can do this after, but I'd recommend doing this beforehand, whether that's things like writing samples, that's brand guides, or anything else that's going to properly train this project to get the best outputs possible. I'm going to explain what my project files are in the creation process, but now let's dive in and create a project. So I'm on the home screen of ChatGPT, and again, keep in mind I'm on a Plus account, but this should be similar for free users as well. On the left-hand side, you should see projects right here. Go ahead and click New Project, and then we're just gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna do RD Personal Brand, and then we'll do Demo, since this is a demo. 
Um, you don't have to click any of these things. I would recommend clicking the settings icon. This is a very important step. And then we wanna change memory to project only. This is a really unique feature in my opinion, where instead of, you know, we're letting this project access memories outside of the defined project, we now have project only memory. But keep in mind, this setting cannot be changed later. So if you have a project that you've already created, you can't go in here and change this from default to project only. But I'm gonna show you a little tip here on how we can get around that in a little bit. So keep it at project only, give it a name, and then go ahead and click create project. All right. So our project is now created and you should see it on the left-hand side. If you want to rename this, you can click the three dots and simply rename the project. You can delete it, start over. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is you can also change the color and icon of projects now. Uh, so I want to make this red and maybe like a, let's have a music symbol or whatnot, or an airplane or a globe, right? It's kind of cool how OpenAI allows us to do that. You can change it from here if you want as well. Uh, but now we're going to add files and also create instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and add files first. So I'm going to click add files and here I'm going to click add files again. And now I'm going to go through and find those project files that I showed you earlier in this video. That's why I suggest compiling these first versus doing it later, but you can still do it later if you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of these files and then I'm going to upload them. And while these are uploading, so in the case of my personal brand, what is the purpose of these files? Well, I'm gonna walk through a few of these and explain why I'm uploading them. Number one, an email newsletter example. I wanna give it a proper sample of my writing style that's not AI generated on how I craft email news newsletters. I think that's a valid data point. Also a list of AI words and phrases to avoid delve, robust, right? All of these AI slop words that ChatGPT is notorious for, I do not want those in any of my outputs. I also gave it another writing sample. I gave it my personal brand logo so it understands, you know, my, my colors and just the, the font and all the other things that I use in my personal brand design. I gave it a personal brand style guide. I'm going to talk about that here in a little bit. Some video transcripts of me on a podcast so it knows how I sound when I'm talking versus how I'm writing. Some more links. LinkedIn posts. And then I also downloaded a PDF of my LinkedIn profile for those who are not aware that you can do that. So it can analyze my LinkedIn profile as well. But that's the first step in my opinion is just coming in here and uploading relevant project files so we can properly train it. Okay, so you'll notice I now have nine files that are uploaded. And remember, like I said earlier, in terms of limits, since I'm a plus user, I can upload 25 files per project. I'm not saying you should just upload files to upload files, but the more relevant and high quality files that we can train our project, we can upload up to 25 of those per project. So I just wanted to point that out too. Now, in terms of instructions, what you wanna do is we wanna add custom instructions. You should notice these three dots on the top right Go ahead and click that and then you'll see add instructions. So this is where we can add custom instructions. Now, what I would recommend here is if you've been using ChatGPT for a while, this prompt is going to work very well for you. I would recommend opening a new chat in ChatGPT, not in that new project. I would click the drop down. I would click thinking mode and then I would paste the following prompt. And I will leave this in the video description below and I'll have placeholders in here because obviously this is relevant to me and my personal brand. So you would wanna change this up. But essentially what I'm doing here is I'm using GPT-5 thinking mode and I'm saying I want you to come up with custom instructions for a new chat GPT project based on everything that you know about me and use memory for style and tone. That's a very important element of this prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and wait till this is complete and then talk about the results. All right, so after a minute or two, GPT-5 thinking came back with some project instructions. Now, are these perfect? No, obviously, if you wanna go back and refine some of this, you definitely can, but this is a good start. It's pulling in all of the data and memory that it has on me from my account history in my ChatGPT Plus account, and then it's putting together these detailed project instructions. So for the purposes of this, just to speed this up, I'm gonna go ahead and copy these project instructions, come into my new RD personal brand project here, go ahead and click add instructions, and then I'm going to paste those in right here. And so these are my instructions to start. Again, these aren't perfect, but this will give me a good start. Then you wanna click save, and now we're almost ready to go. 
So technically this chat GPT project is now complete, but I'm not gonna stop here, right? There's a few tips that I wanna show you that will take your new project to the next level. One of them being adding existing chats or previous chats to your new project so you can properly tra train it without just starting from scratch right here in the new chat box. What do I mean by this? So on the left-hand side, we have all of our previous chats. Well, let's say there's some chats here that are relevant to our new project, maybe AI writing tips. So for instance, let's say this chat is relevant. I'm gonna click this drop down, click add to project, and then add that to my new project right here. So now memory can start training off of this chat. Maybe there's another one down here, video script creation. And actually, I'm glad I clicked that because notice there's no option to do that here. Well, that tells me this chat came from a custom GPT. If you're chatting with the GPT, unfortunately, there is no way to move chats from a custom GPT into a new project. Just wanted to call that out as I saw it. Or if there's maybe this one, right? I wanna add this, add to project, so on and so forth. You guys see how you can add pre-existing chats into your new project. That way you can start training memory properly or instead of coming up here and just creating new chats from scratch. So I wanted to call that out first. Now, another useful tip I wanna show you to improve your project even more is creating a branded style guide, whether that's for your personal brand or for a brand of a company. So if I go into my files, I mentioned this earlier, I have a Ryan Dozer personal brand style guide. I'm gonna show you exactly how I use ChatGPT to create that. I'm gonna open up a new chat here by just clicking new chat, click the drop down, click agent mode. We're going to use ChatGPT agent mode for this. This will not work if you're a free user, you have to be a paid user in order to use this. And then there's a particular prompt that I use that I found has gotten really good outputs with this. You'll notice it says Ryan Dozer. So in the description below, I'll leave this prompt and I'll put a placeholder. That is where you would put your personal brand or your company's brand. And so what this is gonna do is it's going to leverage chat GPT agent mode and it's gonna open up its own browser within the chat GPT interface and then start to do research on me. You'll notice in the prompt here, I said, you know, find as many social media posts as possible. Also find any features that I've been in on podcasts, interviews, guests, articles or articles where I have been quoted or commenting. Essentially, it's scraping the internet to find as many data points as possible on my personal brand so it can create a personal brand style guide that I can use to train that project. Now, this is going to take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes just from experience. And so when I did this previously, here were the results that it came up with. Here's my personal brand style guide. It's showing exactly the source and where it's finding the content summary and tone. Uh, there were some things I had to come back and tweak a few things here and there. Um, but after it did this, so here is what I ended up copying and pasting into my chat GPT personal brand project. It came back with my voice and persona, tone and attitude, common themes and topics, style and structure, recurring phrases, so phrases that I say all the time, AI slop, cheap rappers, brain rot hooks, uh, let's go, best AI tools, keep my foot on the gas, uh, you know, that's just funny seeing that because I do say some of those terms a lot. Values and beliefs, ethical human-centered use of AI. I like to think that I do that. Uh, continuous learning and experimentation, conclusion. And then you can come back and just reformat it however you want into your own personal brand writing style guide that you would then come in here. Well, let's say this is complete. You would come in here. I'm gonna copy this. Let's copy my style guide. Come down here copy, go into your project, come back to your instructions, and you can either paste it in there or what you can do, and I would recommend actually doing it this way, let's see if I can X out of here, is creating a new Google Doc, so doc.new, this will create a new Google Doc by default, and then just pasting it in here, file, download as a PDF, and then simply come back to your project and then take that new PDF, if I click files, add file, and then upload that new PDF. Unfortunately, you can't add text, so I can't just copy and paste text into my project files. Uh, so that's another quick workaround as well. But I wanted to show you that quick little hack there, I like to call it, where you can create your own branded style guide by leveraging ChatGPT agent mode. So that's my in-depth tutorial of how I would create a ChatGPT project from scratch. I hope you guys found value in this and can start 
start to understand why you would want to use a project more than a custom GPT, in my opinion, as the only benefit of those GPTs are the ability to publicly share them. I just do not think GPTs are that useful anymore, and I think they are very overhyped, in my opinion. But anyways, as I keep rambling on, if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value in this tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate all of your support. Also, let me know in the comments, do you prefer GPTs? Do you use ChatGPT projects? I want to hear what you guys are using these for. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.